So I just re-uploaded a story I did a few months ago the other day to TikTok, and it got over 4 million views overnight. I'm not sure if you've seen it, but it's about this party that I got invited to in LA. And when I initially dropped it, it didn't really get any traction. I'm pretty sure the first time I dropped it, it got like 20,000 views. I was just like, I guess nobody cares about the weird thing that happened to me in LA. I guess it's a boring story. I guess it's not cool. I guess we're just gonna move on here. And I just kind of let it go. I just like let it slide. I just moved on with my life. I just kept making other content. But in this past month, it blew up. It blew up on YouTube. So I decided to re-upload it to TikTok and it went crazy. And so many people were asking me so many things. People were accusing me of things. People were trying to find inconsistencies in the story. People were being outright victim blamers. And I kind of realized why it just blew up recently with everything that's going on with Diddy, Ryan Garcia, and the Drake Bell stuff. So I kind of see why the public attention is on it. But one of the main accusations was that I did this after all of that stuff. But if you go check when I uploaded this video, it was over three months ago. I uploaded it before any of these people came out, before any of these accusations, before any of this stuff was released. And I know there's been similar stories and people say similar things about weird stuff that happens in LA. But I don't think anybody has put out such a detailed account of the stuff that happens there. And that kind of moves me on to my next point. There's a couple things I want to address in this. And I just want to clear up everything for you guys. I'm going to go over all of the most common comments that I got, the most common accusations that I got, just what it seems like you guys want to know the most about. And I'm not sure how much more detailed I could really be about the party in general or the entire experience in general. I could definitely go into more of the stuff of how they were messing with me after. Let me know if you guys want to hear that. But a lot of people are telling me to say what I saw in the sixth room. And that confuses me a little bit because I don't know why you guys want me to say it. Do you guys want me to give you like vivid, horrible descriptions of illegal activities that are like disgusting and done to people that they shouldn't be done to? That's a bit weird to me. You want to hear those words come out of my mouth. I don't want to describe it to you. It's grotesque. It's disgusting. It's hideous. It's heinous. Stuff that they do is unspeakable. It's like gross. And they record it so they could hold it over you for your entire life. So for the people that are saying, say what they did, I, I want to hear it come out of your mouth. That's gross. That's, it's a little bit weird that you so desperately want me to explain to you what I saw. What I saw was horrible. What I saw was illegal. And what I saw was inhumane. And I don't want to say it. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't want to describe it to you. It's gross. It's not something cool to say on the internet. You could look at some of the stuff that Ryan was saying. He was being a little bit more graphic than I, I'm going to be here. For the people that are like, say it, I don't believe you unless you vividly describe this horrible thing. You're gross. Go to the dark web, figure something out. Like clearly you guys want to watch something horrible and you want to hear something horrible. I'm not going to give that to you. Another thing that people were asking me to do was to drop names of people that I saw at that party. And I'm not sure why you want me to do that either. Because if you look at all of the people that you see as celebrities, it is so blatantly clear who is involved and who is not. So I'm not really sure why you guys want me to call people out publicly. And I don't know why you would want me to do that for my sake. Because if I start saying these things publicly about very specific people, they're going to sue me for defamation. They're going to come after me with resources that I don't have. I don't have the resources to defend myself from these people. So I'm not sure why you exactly want me to do that. I'm just telling you what happened and how they operate. And I'm just giving you the information of how that world works, telling you that a lot of them are involved in it. I don't know why you guys want me to describe the things and I don't know why you guys want me to drop specific names. You guys already know. And I don't know why you need to hear me say it. I'm literally not going to lose everything by calling out specific people who have more resources than me that could destroy my life with one lawsuit. Another thing that I want to go over was a lot of people were saying that the way that they were messing with me wasn't scary. People were saying, they're just fixing your stuff. They're buying you free half and half. I'd take that. Ha ha ha. LOL. Just completely discrediting how horrific that is. Going through that, where every time you come in your house, something's a little different. I didn't even say all of the stuff that they did. I gave 
like a couple details because it didn't really seem like people were that interested. So I just kind of stopped posting it because nobody believes you, nobody cares. Everybody's calling me schizophrenic on Facebook, it's completely dismissing me. But now that other bigger names are saying it, people that you actually believe, the Ryan Garcias, the Diddy allegations, the Drake Bells, now that these people are saying it, now you're like, oh wait, maybe he wasn't bullshitting. Maybe this stuff is going on. Maybe we should actually listen to the other people that are saying it. But you guys are still minimizing the kind of stuff that they do. They don't publicly, openly say, hey, we're going after this guy for this because he knows this, and I'm gonna threaten you very openly. These people were coming into my private house. They were flipping my batteries. They were fixing things that only I would notice. I can't tell that to anybody. Who, I'm, I, I look crazy saying it on the internet. They fixed my doorknob. They fixed the manual on my car. They fixed the, the gear shifter on my car that only I would notice. If I ever came out and said it, I look crazy. You see what I'm saying? They do things that you literally can't explain to anybody without the general public completely dismissing it, saying, I would like some free half and half. They were listening to what we were saying. They went out and got it and they replaced it with it and they, and they put it in the fridge when we didn't notice, they came into our residence. No, you don't want free half and half. No, you don't want your doorknob fixed and your gar car, like your car shifter fixed. You don't want that. These are things that they do to discredit people that they're doing it to. Another thing that a lot of people were saying was if you signed an NDA, why are you saying it now? One, because so many people are coming out and saying it. Two, because I didn't really break the NDA. I didn't really say where, where we were. I didn't really say who was there. I didn't really say what happened there. So I didn't really break it. They can't really do anything to me about that. And I'm pretty sure there's a statue of limitations and it was quite a while ago. So I'm pretty sure I'm good. Fingers crossed I'm good. But a lot of people were trying to discredit it by saying, well, you do sign the NDA, but you're talking about it publicly. That doesn't make sense. Kick rocks. One of the main things that people were saying is like, where's the proof? Where's the proof? What was the top comment? It was, I'll take this never happened for 500 because people saw somebody comment that one time, like as if you're answering like a Jeopardy thing and it got like a top comment and people aren't funny. So they just copy top comments that they've seen in the past to try to get a little bit of recognition. But people are just saying things like, I don't have proof. I don't have any of this. Why didn't I save any of the stuff? Why didn't I save the invite? I bet you're going to be sitting here waiting for excuses about why I didn't save any of it. But I did, I have it. I have the letter, exactly how I described it. All extravagant and weird. It's a bizarre letter. I'll show it to you guys after. I'll put it at the end of this video. Like, it's weird and bizarre. Pull it out a little bit for you right here. Gold letter. Like this is it. And you could see the weirdest part about it is like, it says like, sincerely, but then it has like holes punched in it and it has like a medallion hanging from it, like in gold letters. And it goes like, you're invited on the front. It's like this whole extravagant thing. And it has like a wax covering it says, join us. Like I have it, like I have the proof. Like I, I uploaded this story months ago and nobody cared. And they watch it and they go, you have no proof. You didn't even ask if I had proof. The second you guys ask, I have proof, I have proof. So these are a lot of the things like this letter, obviously I wouldn't throw away. Of course I wouldn't throw it away. All you had to do was ask and I would show it to you. I just don't, I, I'm not sure what else you guys need to believe it. Like I, I gave you the most detailed account that I possibly could. I like really tried to make it as detailed as I possibly could for you. I uploaded it as much as I could. Nobody cared. But then when people with bigger names than me started saying the same things, now you guys say I'm copying them or riding the wave. Check the receipts. I uploaded this before any of them. I, I released this before any of them. I think I covered everything that I could with this. Um, if you guys want a way more fully detailed next part of this, that's like really about just what they were doing to me that, that week, I'll, I'll drop that too. You just gotta let, let me know in the comments because I'm not gonna waste my time doing it if you guys don't care. It seems like the internet only has a two day attention span they're probably not going to care at all and forget about this in two days so you guys got to really let me know on this video if you guys want me to further explain the week after the party right right now i'm going to cut to a, a much close like
better close up on this so you guys could actually see the details on it. Um, it's really bizarre, it's really freaky. I thought it was super cool at the time, but um, I don't think it's that cool now. I kind of keep it as a, uh, for this, I keep it for this. So this is, this is the invitation. Here's the proof. I'm gonna let you guys get the closest look that you possibly can on it. It came in this very extravagant thing, very extravagant gold envelope. And then this uh, says join us on the front. This was really weird. I'm gonna show you guys the outside first before I show you the inside. It had this. Is it focused? It's having a hard time focusing. It's focused now, but it goes okay. in and out. Okay, that's all fine. The time. Okay. It has this little stamp on it that has like a tree on it that was like a wax stamp. Very weird. Join us. And then this is the inside of it. So as you could see, is it focused good? There's no. Okay. I'm just going to let you guys give that a read. Date, place, cursive. You guys could see all of it, see what they wrote at the bottom. What is it? Your talents have been noted. Your name has been endorsed. All the dreams you're chasing are a night away through the seventh heaven. But this is the weirdest part, is that it says sincerely, but then it has, it has like four holes punched in this gold chain to this emblem. Let's get it up here. So that's the weirdest part to me. And the outside was just, you're invited with gold trim. You see how extravagant it is and odd. Um, but yeah, that's the closest, that's, that's the thing.